All right. Well, hello. It is about 1045 on Monday, May 8th. And let's see, I have uh, just finished up my live sale, got the cats a little bit of a snack, and refilled my water. Um, and I've organized all of the items from the live sale. So I just finished the live sale. Thank you to everyone who um, who was there, who was chatting, who was not chatting. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being there so much. And thank you so much for all of your purchases. Um, oh, I forgot to look at my sheet. So I brought 27 items to the sale. So 27 items. I sold 26 of the items. I just had one that did not sell. Uh, so I will start with the one that didn't sell. So we're going to go over what sold, what didn't sell, and uh, give you a chance if you weren't able to uh, come to the live to see what I brought. And I'm going to switch my camera around. There we go. All right, so what didn't sell was this little tablecloth and napkin set. That was a 36-inch uh, tablecloth. I know, don't use a lot of the 36-inch tablecloths anymore, but it's a nice gray set for matching napkins. And uh, so that one was the only item that didn't sell. <clears throat> so... I brought some linens, some fabrics, uh, some jewelry that kind of made up the sale today. Uh, this beautiful purple um, and Aurora Borealis bead. So this is so everything that sold. So that purple necklace, this beautiful um, heart, heart, uh, rose. <laughs> rose with rhinestones, the hummingbird brooch. Uh, this ended up being a sterling ring. Let me see if uh, if I can get my camera to focus on that. It does have an S and a 925. Now I can't tell if that's... I see it focusing, but I can't tell if that's right side up or upside down. So we'll try it this way also. But that does have an S925 in it. Uh, this fun musical note brooch, this amazing pendant, Ooh, that is so pretty. Uh, let's see, oh, this ring, this is fun. This is a great ring that almost matches that one. Oh, I want to be right over here. I'm learning, I'm learning where to point that. So uh, there is that, all different colors in that one. And then this fun gold tone with an embossed floral design. And the purple silver tone one. Uh, I had these two scarves and this colorful set of napkins. Uh, then I had, let's see, starting down here, this was a... 10 foot long white on white design, a table runner, the pink tablecloth, this beautiful embroidered set of pillowcases. Uh, this was a dresser scarf, ivory with lace, two crocheted uh, doilies, this lovely dresser scarf with, I think, lilacs. That's what I'm going to call them, lilacs. Uh, then this fabric, one yard, uh, this is the violets, this fabric, oh, this wonderful one with the sleeping animals, this one, which was Hamlet, a little kit for Hamlet. These were little samplers, uh, but they sold. And then this, oh my goodness, the double wedding ring fabric. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. That ended up being six and three quarter yards. Oh, so much of it, so good. Oh, uh, yeah, so all of that sold. Thank you again. Oh, 
It was such a great sale this morning. I appreciate it so much. Appreciate all of you so much. Uh, so now I am going to put all these in plastic bags. I always keep my fabrics and linens in plastic bags. Why? Because I have cats and that keeps everything nice and clean. Um, let's see. After I do that, uh, I'm going to do postage. So I've got some more postage to do. And then as soon as I do that, I'll take you over because I've got two big stacks of packages that are going out in the mail today. Yes, I did request mail carrier pickup. And so at some point today, uh, might be during the sale. <laughs> Mondays typically are heavier mail days. So uh, sometimes the mail carrier comes a little later in the day. And then I have to set up for my sale tonight. So I will be doing that. Um, yeah, so that is the game plan for so far today. And we'll see what time I have left after I get um, everything organized here, get the stuff pulled, get the postage done. I'm hoping to have a little time before I do my sale. Now, my time, my sale starts at 3 p.m. So it is almost 11 now, which gives me four hours to get work done. So we'll check in, we'll see where I'm at, and, um, and yeah, we'll kind of go from there. All right, well, it is about 1.45 in the afternoon. I am going to take a little lunch break. Um, the sale I do with Jen, uh, three o'clock my time. I know it's 6 p.m. Eastern time, but my time it's three o'clock. So yeah, I gotta have some lunch before I go live for the sale. I have made my selection for the items for the sale tonight. I'm also gonna give you a little sneak peek there. Um, I went ahead and picked the items that I am gonna bring for tomorrow morning sale. That's Tuesday morning sale. Uh, so I have those items selected for the most part. I make my final decision kind of in the morning as I'm setting things up, but I kind of pull a bunch of items and go, yeah, I'll probably bring those to the sale. Um, so what am I bringing tonight for my sale with Jen? Monday evening, let's see. So we pick 15 items. So these are the 15 items that I am bringing to the sale. I still need to do my sheet. Now I uh, do write out a sheet. I put it in the order that I am um, gonna be selling all the items. So I just go right down the sheet as I present them. And uh, yeah, so I still need to do that, but I am gonna take a little lunch break before. Also, we're gonna head over to the front door and I am gonna show the packages that are going out. Now, I think I counted 13 packages going out today, but we are gonna double check that. Here I am over at the front door. Let me turn this around here. All right, so I have, yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, that one is not an eBay. Um, I just have it in that envelope. Six. Then we've got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, yep, thirteen packages going out today. And uh, yes, I did remember to request USPS pickup. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, Mail carrier will probably come during the sale. I know on Mondays, it's a busy mail day. So a lot of times, um, um, you know, if it's my regular or if it's a backup, they're usually running a little later in the afternoon for pickup. But yeah, that's what will be going out the door. It's awesome. So excited. So thank you everyone for your payments. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I that one of the reasons why I kind of set up early for tomorrow is so then after the sale, um, I'll come back, we'll talk about what sold, and uh, then I can get all that upstairs. And then my evening, aside from a little bit of paperwork, um, should be clear 
to work on some more packing and invoicing. So yay. Uh, yeah, so that is the plan. Uh, so I will see you maybe after lunch or probably after the sale to talk about what sold. And uh, yeah, and anything else that comes up along the way. All right, it is about 6.45 in the evening. Uh, sale has uh, come to an end with uh, Jen. And uh, let's see, I got the cats fed. I got the table organized with what sold, what didn't sell. And uh, yeah, got a couple of things done around the house. So let's talk about what sold and what didn't sell during the sale. Uh, so we bring 15 items to the sale. 10 of them sold, five did not sell. So I'm going to start one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep. I'm going to start with the soul or didn't sell because there is a clown alert. So I'm going to start with the clown. Once we get past those, I'll let you know. But uh, for anybody with clown sensitivity, the, um, I'm going to start with the clown. So when I flip my camera around, yep, we're going to be focused in on the clowns. Okay. So I did bring these two cute clowns. They did not sell. When I bought them originally, I they were in a little baggie, and I thought they were salt and pepper shakers. They're not. They're just figurines. Um, but I will put, uh, like all the items, I will put them away for a future sale. The Chico's. Okay, I think I've got the clowns out of the frame. Uh, the Chico's beaded necklace did not sell. The um, the hourglass. So this is a really neat working hourglass. See, yep, you can see the sand going through there and filling up on the bottom. That did not sell. I think that this might be a Harry Potter item. Um, I'm really surprised this didn't sell. They are blue glass star and moon tea light holders. They're made in Taiwan, and the faces are really neat. They have like these pop-out faces. I thought those were super cool. Uh, this is a three-piece set. When you're using them, you take these pieces out, you put the tea lights in, and when you're not using them, you can stack them together. They're made out of wood. I thought those were awesome too. So those are the five items that did not sell. Now let's go down here and let's talk about what did sell. Uh, this really cute Betty Boop tin travel, either a handbag um, or a kind of catch-all box. That is really cute. Uh, this Lucite kind of 3D flower and butterfly display. Uh, the shoe with all of its blingy rhinestones, that is a pin cushion. Uh, the salt and pepper shaker matador. Uh, let's see. Oh, he has the holes right here. The matador oop, has them on the back. They are from Japan. Uh, this is also from Japan, this beautiful decorative hanging plate. But she is gorgeous. I love this one. Um, I think we determined this is a Brighton item. It is reversible. So gold on one side, black on the other, rhinestones around each side. Uh, the glass seahorse. So this is a glass seahorse pendant. Uh, the Squishmallow. Now, I don't find many Squishmallows, um, especially, well, after I found some and then found that there's no way that I can afford Goodwill prices on them. I did decide to take a chance on this gnome. Um, her name is Deidre, and I thought she was pretty awesome. Uh, this really cool, still in its original packaging, Milton Bradley. 3D puzzle. It's really hard to tell. Oh, you can kind of tell the 3D effect on this one. 500 piece puzzle. And then this um, incense burner with the pack of incense. Uh, there's uh, 
three varieties. So those are all of the items that sold during the sale. And thank you everyone who came out uh, in the chat, just watched, um, watch the sale. Uh, we appreciate you guys so much coming and uh, spending some time with us. And thank you for your purchases. Uh, you're keeping me busy and I love it. Uh, so what am I going to do later on tonight? Well, I am going to have some dinner and then I haven't decided if I'm going to pack or if I'm going to list. I'm going to kind of wait and see how I feel after dinner <laughs> and what I feel like working on. Um, so I will let you know once I make that decision. Well, it is getting close to nine o'clock at night. I am uh, entering in my sales for the day. And yeah, I'm tired. So... <laughs> I am going to be going to bed early tonight. Uh, big plan on uh, getting up early in the morning. If I go to bed early, I'll get up early. Um, I've got a great start going because I've already selected the items for tomorrow's sale. Uh, that'll give me a chance maybe to get a few extra things done. Maybe before I go live for the sale, but... I should be able to get kind of up and running, um, yeah, with packing and invoicing tomorrow. So, uh, I am going to end today's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.